Scott, yeah, I think you called it that that this could be a unique stretch. I think you said pregame. Uh, you've had three losses, all blowouts, and three wins, all in the last second in your last six. Uh, why why has it played out like this for you guys? Uh, I I don't think I've ever had a stretch like this where, uh, like you said, great win two or three point win last seconds of the game, tough loss. Great win, same thing. Three and three in the last six. Um, with what we've gone through, I, I'm not usually fired up about three and three, but we've, we've gone through a lot and our guys um, battled back. I mean, what can you say? You just, you just, we just try to do the right thing every day and and work and work and work. And sometimes even tonight, the fatigue got to them, but we got to just fight through it. I'm not, I keep saying, I'm not going to talk about it, but it, you could see it through the guys. And I, and I, I love the fact that they keep fighting. And even, even we had a lot of things go against us to, even tonight, but we kept battling and, and kept making the extra pass and rebounding, contesting shots. We made a, some mistakes on the, some of our defensive coverages, but we, our effort was good tonight, but three and three, the last, six games and two and two on this road trip. It's a tough road trip, uh, but we managed to go two and two. Zach. Coach, you really took advantage uh, down low when Gafford was in foul trouble, especially with Rui. When you said you had that, uh, you know, film session with him, do you talk to him about being more aggressive, getting to the paint and finishing? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I, I tell Rui all the time, you're going to be a really, really good player in this league for 15 years. And you just, you got to be patient. You just got to keep putting the work in, but you got to give yourself a chance. Sometimes he's, sometimes he, he doesn't, doesn't coast. He just, just plays and not, not plays with the purpose. And that's a lot. Of, I mean, that's a lot of young players do that because it's so many things that, that take your mind away from the game. Uh, even during the game, there's just, it, the game is fast, but like I said, he's just finished over 60 games of his NBA career. Hasn't even had a entire rookie year in games played, but I like the fact that he was taking advantage of the matchups, not settling the, just spacing the floor. Uh, when he did get the ball, he was aggressive with it and being aggressive doesn't mean you have to shoot it every time, but a dribble handoff, a, a, a jab step, a triple threat, just so they know they have to guard you. And I thought he did a good job with that. And then they gave us some good matchups and our guys did a good job. I thought Roland did a good job of doing some high low passes for him when they had a smaller guy guarding room. Rui's a handful when small guys guard him, but he has to be patient and really put those guys in the basket where, where they belong. what do you think of his, uh, his charge? He, he seemed to have a fun reaction to it. Yeah, I mean, I think it might be his first one. <laughs> Uh, I don't know the way the players responded. I think it might be his first one, but he's, like I said, the guy, he's a great, great kid. That's going to continue to get better. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad we, you know, we won on his birthday. I mean, he did a, he did, that was the birthday charge. He probably won't get one until next year now. Neil. Scott, obviously, I'm sure you guys don't expect Denny to shoot 0 of 5 from threes, given the quality of shots he got. But how did you see him uh, fit in with the second unit? And where are opportunities where you think he can still improve? Yeah, I like the, I like the fact that he competed. He's, he was guarding a very tough guard. Zach, is, he's going to be right there with all the, the all-star decisions that all the coaches are going to have to make if he doesn't get voted in. But he's right there. And, and he was battling with them. Made some tough shots over him, um, but you know his offense is going to come. So he's a good shooter. He's not going to shoot that bad. But I mean, I'm saying his legs are a little tired too. But uh, I, I just like the fact that he just he just stayed with it. He didn't play well the, the the last few games, but he stayed with it and gave us a chance to win this game with his toughness. That's what that's how he got the starting lineup was toughness, and he has to that has to be his uh, he has to hold his hat on toughness and. I thought he did that tonight. Ava. Uh, Scott, what did you see from Alex Len there in the last big defensive play? He's a big body. 
uh, it's tough to make a shot over him. I thought the, I thought the referees gave him a couple of tough ones, but for the most part, he's really smart with his verticality. I thought, I thought the first couple of minutes of the game really created the, the, the spirit of our team. You know, he was setting good screens. Brad was coming off. They're going to send doubles to Brad and he, Brad made the right time, the right pass on time. And all Alex had to do is just the quick dunks. And, you know, that's what we want to continue to do. I thought he, I thought he gave us some good solid minutes throughout the game. He did his role. He caught, he was patient, got to the free throw line, made us some of his free throws, but I thought, I thought he was good throughout the game on both ends. You make his job sound simple, but what what kind of work has he had to put in to fit in with this team when you guys aren't able to practice when he's kind of walking in with no real pre-existing chemistry with, with anybody else on the floor? That's the that's one of the hardest things that that's kind of you don't even talk about. It's a great question. I mean, I, I've been traded many times and I've had a couple of practices and and things to get familiar with the with the guys. We don't have that. We've had some practices with some shorthanded practices. Our coach has done a good job of giving them and, and keeping them confident. It's, it's, it's sometimes it's really hard. He had some pretty good games and he's had some, you know, tough games. And, you know, we're, we're, we were struggling during those, during that stretch of games and too, but I, he stayed with it. His thing was that he wasn't playing a lot earlier in, in, in his last team. And he just had to get in NBA game shape. He was doing all the cardio stuff that you can do. To, to, to get your to be ready but it, there's nothing like uh, uh, playing up and down battling with all the bigs and uh, being attacked by all the perimeter guards that are coming at you but I thought I thought he's done a good job of really just trying to pick things up and we got good guys I, I knew we, he wouldn't have any problems fitting in all of our guys are great guys and they're gonna they're gonna open their arms up and make them feel comfortable right from the start and they did shy Coach, um, usually you tell me as a rookie, um, how difficult is it for a player to go from a starting role to a bench? And how do you feel about uh, Deming's response tonight? Well, as a former player that never been in that role, I, could, I couldn't tell you. But I, I know it's not easy. I mean, I tried to hurt Maurice Cheeks for every day in training camp to get a chance to start. Uh, but it's not easy. It's not easy being a rookie. It's not. It's not easy being a second year, third year. It, this is a tough, very competitive league. And we got some young guys playing big minutes. And I, I think they're doing a good job. They're going to continue to improve at the pace that the game lets them improve. They're going to put their work in. We're not going to take days off and give guys days off. And they're going to always, they're going to chip away. They're going to pound the rock and it's going to continue to do that. And they've done that, but he handled it well. I had a great conversation with him. He was he was excited about the opportunity because everything's new for him. Like I said before the game, this is a new city. This is a new uh, arena to play in. And this was a new opportunity to play a different role. I thought he stepped in, he rebounded, he, he, he competed on defense. He didn't make any shots that he would, he would normally make. Those are great. Those are all, I mean, I don't know if they're all were wide open, but I think they were, but. He handled it like we knew he would handle it. He's a great kid that's tough, that works hard. He's gonna, it's not, he's gonna be a starter in this league for you know 12 to 15 years. Hey Alex, um, you and Brad from the very start were just gelling in the pick and roll. What was working so well for you guys? I mean, I, uh, it's, it's easy to play with Brad. They, they double team him every time. So I'm, I'm just trying to you know, set a grit screen, find, you know, find a pocket and just make a play on the weak side or, cause I mean, they, they're trying to double team him and, and get get the ball out of his hands every time. So I'm just trying to set a good screen and find an open, find an opening. I I know you've you've played against a lot of these guys who are now your teammates for years. Right. When when you come to a team in the middle of the year and you don't have a lot of time to learn your teammates, do you watch film on on your teammates to learn more about their tendencies more quickly? Uh, no, not not really. I was kind of just you know just playing just watching the game sitting on the bench kind of trying to see what, what everybody like and just talking to them be like right, how do you like how do you want me to set a screen for you like what do you what, how you like it just communication Neil Alex can you just take me take us through the last possession of the game there obviously you see Levine you know driving to the basket 
how do you balance, you know, trying to stay vertical, not getting the whistle called on you, all those kinds of things? Um, I mean, just trying, you know, trying to jump as vertical as I can and just meet him a little bit further from the rim. You know, he, he, he's the most athletic probably player in, in our league. So I was just trying to, you know what I mean, just meet him a little bit further from the rim and just jump as straight, I mean, as straight as I can and just put my hands up and make sure I'm, I, didn't, I didn't follow him. But it was a good play. Finally, I'm, I'm happy we got a win. When you say further away from the rim, is that because you, then the referees might swallow their whistle more and less likely to call foul? He just so athletic. He, he might dunk it because I, I, I mean he dunked on me before. And you just gotta you gotta meet him a little bit further from the rim because if you, if you give him that little space, he I mean he's too good. He's too, he's so athletic. Ava. Hey Alex, um, you're, the last I think three wins you guys have had has have come on um, pretty crazy last second plays like the the one you just had there. Does what kind of energy does that give the team just like kind of to win in that thrilling manner? Does it not matter at all when you're just getting a win? You just want the victory. We're just trying to get a win. I mean, we, I mean, we, everybody uh, like on the social media, I see everybody talking smack, and but I think we're doing great. We went, we went last six with three and three and three. You know, we had almost 10 guys with COVID. You know, everybody's still just coming back, start trying to learn each other. So I think we're doing all right. And we're still figuring out how to play with each other. And it's still early in the season. We still got a basketball left. So we, we're we going to figure it out. We just got to, you know, play a little bit better defensively and execute a uh, game plan the coach um, got for us. Day in, day how, how has this uh, last stretch of games been for you? Scott Brooks said it was probably one of his weirdest stretches he's ever coached during his career just because of how up and down and, and all over the place the, the games were? I mean, personally, for me, it's weird because, you know, I just, just a week ago, 10 days ago, I was in Tampa playing with the Raptors. Then I get cut. Then I'm sitting in Atlanta. I don't know where I'm going. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going right on the trip with the Wizards to, I forgot, uh, San Antonio. They went to San Antonio. So I was like, you know what I mean? For me, it was a crazy 10 days, two weeks, whatever, whatever it's been. So, but you know, it's this crazy year for us, I guess, for everybody. Davis, uh, you guys, the last six games, it seems like it's either, I mean, the three wins have all just been totally and completely close. What do you make of that? Why, why is every game coming down to the last second? We'll, we'll take whatever you can get. That's what I'll tell you. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you win by 30 lose by 30 or you win by three or lose by three is a win or a loss you know and and in two three weeks no one's gonna remember that so you know today we just kept fighting till the end uh i think we did a solid job defensively you know even when uh, we couldn't score an offense we still got some stops and uh didn't make didn't let them make like quick runs that were like 10 and 0 it was like usually like 5 and 0 and then after the timeout we got back in it so, you know, that's that's a progress and uh, hopefully we can keep it that way. And uh, S- Scott mentioned that playing you as a starter, uh, he could play you in shorter bursts throughout the game as opposed to playing you for like eight, nine minutes consecutively. How, how, do the, how did those shorter bursts affect you tonight? Well, as logically uh, the shorter bursts, you know, you can put a lot more energy in those few minutes that I'm, I'm in there. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I think I played like six minutes, seven minutes, uh, to start and uh you know in those six seven minutes you don't you don't have that fatigue you you can play harder on both ends and, uh, and not think about it you get to last another five six minutes on, on the court zach i was uh i'm sure you'd answer it doesn't really matter if you start or come off the bench but uh, how did that starting unit gel tonight? I know Russ will play, you know, at the one with most lineups, but how do you think it went tonight? Uh, I think we started off the game good, you know. Uh, that, that's been our biggest issue this season, uh, letting the other team start off good and, and we starting slow. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we got we got a quick uh, lead a little bit. And, uh, you know, if we were down, we, were, we weren't down that much. So we were always in the game if we were down. Uh, you know that was that was an issue in the few games that we last few games that we lost. You know we, we get down ten and then we get down twenty, we get down thirty, and uh, instead of just you know get down five and fight back into it, get get it, get the lead and keep playing. And uh, with Russ coming back uh, for the next game, I know spacing has been a topic all year, but do you do you feel like you entering that starting lineup will really help with that? 
Uh, hopefully, I got to make my shots, and uh, and that's gonna help probably. And uh, you know, with Russ being aggressive, uh, it should be opening up a lot more uh, opportunities for everybody. You know, of course, it hasn't been easy. You know, with uh, some games that he's missing on the back to backs, and uh, and then it's, it's tough for everybody. You know, when uh, the coaches got to change the rotations, the the players are. Like someone I used to play with somebody at the same time on the court, and and then they play with different guys on the next game. So I think uh, over time we're definitely going to get better in uh, in both situations when he's playing and when he's not. So hopefully we can get that right, and uh, you know, starting already next game. Neil. Davis, you played a season high for yourself, thirty-eight minutes today. How would you assess your conditioning? And then also, how would you assess, you know, just getting back into rhythm? Uh, I think uh, for both was a was a big step forward. Uh, you know, just getting the rhythm on, on some plays, you know, getting some looks that I'm used to and, and making those shots is, is definitely a confidence booster. And uh, as for the minutes, you know, as, as I said about the shorter stretches, it's easier to play for uh, for a little bit longer overall. And uh, and, you know, those those minutes become more quality minutes, and uh, that, that's about it. Jack? Uh, Davis, I know you've had uh, your, your league experience, uh, and, of course, so has Danny. How difficult is the transition from becoming a your league player to an NBA player and do, do you think Danny's on his way to carving a good role for himself, playing alongside you? Uh, I think Danny's already carved a, a pretty good, good role for a rookie uh, in his first year. And, uh, you know, he, he's doing a good job. He's learning, you know, he still makes mistakes, but most of those mistakes are not because he's not focused in some way. It's just learning the players, you know. It's, it's not easy when you play for, for years in Europe. You're always watching European players and you know everybody there. And then you come, to NBA and you basically have like, you know, all the superstars, but then you have another 400 players in the league that you basically never seen them play. So it, it, it's a learning curve. You know, it takes uh, usually like, as for me, it took about a season to really pay for, like make sure I'm focused on those players, learning about them. And then uh, over time it becomes easy and automatic. Brad, you uh, had some really good chemistry tonight with Len kind of reminded me of some, some John Gortat, uh, pick and roll, getting going. Uh, I know you haven't really been able to practice much, but how, how has that developed and, and how did that feel for you? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, well, Aylan's a big body. Um, you know, he just wants to play, uh, get an opportunity, and, you know, he found a home here with us. And, uh, you know, he's taking advantage of, you know, his minutes. Uh, he started tonight for us, started the last two games for us, and, you know, he's been giving us good sparks and energy, sets really good screens, he rolls. He's a big presence down low, you know, and he alters shots on the defensive end. So uh, we love everything he's doing. Uh, he's been very consistent. He plays extremely hard, um, you know, so I just try to – I keep guys involved, you know. I just – you continue to run the floor, you know. It's like rewarding guys. You know, he works hard. So, you know, whenever I can reward him, I try to do that. Fred? Brad, you, you've kind of talked on and off this year about sporadic spacing issues that you guys have had. How's that change schematically with Davis out there in the starting lineup? Uh, I mean, it makes it it makes the floor a little bit more space, um, you know, because you have to respect his ability to shoot. Um, so guys aren't going to be as, you know, as easily, you know, kind of tricked into helping off of him. You know, they're going to be more hugged up, so. Uh, that creates more driving lanes for me, Ish, Aul, uh, to be able to get in the paint and create, uh, you know. So that was definitely uh, an adjustment, you know, coach made coming into tonight, and uh, it worked pretty well. Do you do you think that had any effect on how much success you had in pick and roll tonight? For sure. Less bodies. Less bodies, less help. Uh, you know, granted, you know, you, you, you tip your hat off to them because they, they didn't have their big, their two main bigs tonight. Um, and we know a Gafford's an athletic big too, who can alter shots. So it was, still wasn't easy, but uh, it definitely, it definitely opened the floor more with, with Davis out there for sure. Yeah. Brad, I'm sure you guys are very happy with the win, but those last few minutes offensively, where did you think, where did you see things kind of not go well? 
I didn't think things went bad, Neil. Uh, Besides think- the Len dunk, I think you guys went the last four and a half minutes without a field goal. Granted, you guys had the free throws there. I feel like our offense wasn't too, too bad. I mean, granted, I had a turnover down the stretch. Uh, I feel like me and A-Land made some big plays. Uh, I was able to get to the basket. I got fouled at the end a couple times. Fouled by G-Temp to put us in a penalty. Kind of like a bonus look at the foul. We sat four fouls. Let's get G-Temp an easy one. So I think it was just it was just reading the game and, and knowing how the flow of the game was, you know. Uh, because offensively, I feel like we – at least we're getting shots up. Uh, and, you know, a lot of them just weren't making. Uh, I think I had a turnover two down the stretch. And other than that, I wasn't I wasn't too bothered by offense because we defended well. Granted, they made some tough ones down the stretch, but ultimately our defense is what won us the game. Zach? Rui's birthday. Uh, what was your reaction when he – kind of celebrated that charge. It seemed like you guys were like, we've never seen that happen, even in practice. Yeah, yeah, Rui, Rui don't take charges, you know, ever since his little accident, you know, Rui, Rui, don't, Rui not a fan of taking charges. So uh, respectfully so, you know, no, I don't think any man is going to be super like charged up to want to, you know, step in front of, step in front of big bodies like that. But that was a big play tonight. Uh, he sacrificed his body. Uh, for the benefit of the team. And he had a great night tonight. It was his, it was his day. It was his day for sure. Uh, on the floor and off, you know, he's, his birthday today is 23 years old. So it was good to be able to see him have a great game and let's get a dub on his birthday. Jordan here. Ava? Uh, Brad, I came in late, so I'm sorry. You've probably already addressed this, but um, Scott Brooks said he usually isn't cheering for three and three, but he's felt like you guys have been through so much. It, it does feel like ending on an up note is a big deal. Um, how do you feel kind of leaving this one off in, in, in this manner? Oh, man, I was, I was crazy. I told guys at the end of the stretch, like, let's continue to instill positivity in each other. Like, uh, at the end of the day, we know teams are going to make runs. Zach Levine is going to make some tough shots. But, you know, we got to stay encouraged. We got to stay positive. And, uh, you know, positive, I take as we went two and two on the road, you know, so uh, as tough as it was, you know, we, we say COVID kicked our butts, but, you know, I think we did a good job bouncing back with, you know, a little practice time we had. We went two and two, uh, but, you know, we still got to be better. There's still games we feel like we could have won. We got smacked by 30 twice back to back, so that's unacceptable. Uh, so we still, we still got to work it up. Um, Scott also said he feels like he can still see it a little bit late in games when the fatigue still catches up to you guys just from, you know, not playing for two weeks and having to get uh, get used to games again. Do you feel like sometimes you feel the team dragging a little bit in the second or, or how do you how do you guess assess where you guys are right now with that? Yeah, I mean, I can't speak for other guys win, but I know I'd be damn as I'd be damn tired. I'll be tired. I know I was tired because I asked for it. I know I did this today. So. I, I rarely ever asked for a sub, so I, I knew I was tired today. Right? And I can only imagine how guys who haven't played in three weeks feel. So uh, we'll get it right. Uh, we're going to continue to push it. And, you know, games don't stop coming. So we got, I think, what, Toronto next? So got to be ready to go. What's up, Brad? Yo. Uh, a couple questions for you. Number one, you didn't have an assist last game, and then you came out today, Diamond. Uh, you and Alex, Alex Lynn, he has, this is second start of the season. What is your, I guess, uh, assessment of Lynn at the starting five position and your chemistry that you guys have been developing over these past few games? Oh, it's been great. Uh, he's, you know, he's been very a willing learner. Uh, he's, you know, he has an opportunity in front of him, you know, and he's taken full advantage of it. He kind of feels at home being, being back in the DC area. So, uh, you know, it's, it's exciting for him, you know, then for him to get to start the last two games, he, he provides a spark and our pace is a little bit faster. You know, he, he's able to get up and down the floor. He alters, you know, shots at the rim for us. Um, and, you know, he's, he's making his presence felt on both ends of the floor. He screens guys, he rolls hard with a purpose, catches the ball, he finishes above the rim too. So he's doing everything we need, need, to, need our bigs to do. Uh, and so, you know, he's, he's been consistent and we're going to continue to ride his way. And Zach Levine, another pure sweat athlete. You guys are all different. What is it like going up against these guys seemingly every other night that you, you train with and have put in so many unseen hours with? It is hell. 
as hell. Yeah. Zach Levine is a purified, bona fide scorer in this league. He should hands down be an all star. I'm not debating he getting my vote, but it's uh every time we play, it's like this. It's competitive. You know, like you said, we work out, we got the same trainer in the offseason. We've always had the same guy ever since we stepped into the league. So it's always competitive. You know, we're always trying to see, you know, who can now compete the other guy, you know, who can lead their team to victory. You know, he got the best of me out of the matchups earlier in the year. Uh, but, you know, he's he's been playing some of the best basketball in the league over the last couple of games. You know, he came in had 39 before this tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so he's he's electric, man. He has a great change of pace. Shoot the three. He's a three level scorer, man. So I always come in. I always tip my hat off to all my pure sweat guys. Hey, really happy birthday. Thank you. Um, you looked so happy after you drew the charge in the third quarter. <laughs> um, can you kind of take us through that reaction? I mean, I think, I don't know. I, mean, I feel like that was the first time I took a charge actually in my career, basketball career. So, you know, that was a big one step for me, you know. Everybody talks about my defense a lot. Um, I don't think I'm a bad defender. Um, yeah, that was a big step for me, for sure. Um, you've had a couple of really standout defensive games in the past week. When it's games like this and, and games at Miami, what do you feel like is going right or you're able to to do that makes, you know, Scott Brooks point out your defense and, and things like that? Um, just just be aggressive on both ends, you know. Uh, defense, be, um, everybody talks about defense a lot. Um, focus on defense and offense. Our offense is good, you know. Uh, we just got to keep, you know, be aggressive. Um, and I think we're going to be good. Do you get any chance to actually celebrate your birthday, or is it like no because of the? Protocol? I just won the game. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed. <laughs> Thanks, Rui. Yeah. Neil. Rui, after the Miami game, you know, a lot of people said, "Okay, it's just one win. We, you know, can't get happy about that. It's still the big hole to dig out of." How do you guys actually, you know, carry that over this time? That okay, this was nice, but you know, we still have plenty more to do. Um, you know, we had a bad two games um, against Miami and uh, Charlotte. Uh, we, and it was back to back today. And, you know, we just want to, we just want to be aggressive. We just want to be positive, you know. Um, we actually won against uh, Brooklyn and then uh, one of the Miami game. Um, we just got to be aggressive, both hands, especially defensively, you know. That's why we just got to, Today, we focus on the defense for sure, and that's why we got this stuff for sure.